Okay, I'm gonna make a video about how to do alignment on computer for the different thickness of printing medium we use. When you change the printing medium, if the thickness is uh, the difference of the thickness is less than half a millimeter, you do not need to physically change anything. Which physically I mean is to adjust the head height. Okay. If you, for your interest in sake, the height of the printing medium to the bottom surface of printing head is about two rand, about two millimeter. Now let's do not change physically. We use the alignment tool on the computer. So it's the alignment tool and uh, fast color alignment tool. You just execute it and uh, connect to the machine. And uh, you do two alignment. Where does the mouse go? Okay, here. First is uh, horizontally click alignment and it will print sorry about this blue medium the customer only have a blue um, because the phase requirement is printing black and blue okay as you can see it's printed lots of vertical lines with numbers and uh, you can see the is uh, because of bi-direction printing the first printing the top and the bottom one then the print in the middle one all we want is the all on the same vertical position and uh, let's print this again so you can see this better sorry about the people talking in the back it's not my place okay. now you can carefully see it's printing in first second so now which one is better the principle is they are vertically in one position so you can see here i think this one minus six is better okay so minus six is better confirm oh sorry phone call let's pause this okay let's carry on um i was said the six is better or minus six sorry so on the screen here currently figure is six so minus six means six minus six, that is zero. Uh, so let me focus here. Type in zero, type in zero. And, uh, oh, sorry, I should first click save. It's I already print another one, it's printed first. Okay, you can that. Then I press uh, save after changed. I press save. Then, of course, we print another one to see if it gets the right result. Now, you can see on zero, um, yeah, this camera focus, okay, it's focus, zero looks better. Um, I think uh, maybe plus one looks better, okay. Now it seems plus one looks better. It uh, is zero, so zero plus one is uh, one. So we change to one. And uh, press uh, save. Then print again. Yeah, now I think it's better. That's uh, to alignment uh, the horizontal. Now let's do another alignment for vertical. We use this thing called tune. Click it. It will print another line. Just watch carefully. Now you can see it's uh, actually two lines. Uh, this kind of focus needs to hold down, okay. And the one both straight, and there have some point that cross over to each other, and that place should be zero, okay. If not zero, what do we do? Let's just assume, unless it's not zero, let's just assume minus eight looks better. Then, if minus eight looks better, what we do is uh, right here. The second block, don't mistake with the first one, so minus eight. 
and we do a calculate, you see the figure changed. Then press save. Then you print again. Just watch it print. So still print the two lines. Now zero is not good. This way is more, more, more. Let's come back, find the place is good. You can see it's plus eight is the best. So actually we need to change it back by plus eight. Plus eight is eight. And save. And of course, every time you change anything, do a test print and see the result. Now it's well back the zero is the best line. Mm, see? Okay. That's the two things you need to do once you change the thickness of the printing media. That's all. That's all. Now, nothing more, nothing more. Okay, now you can close. Now, why this need to change? Uh, this is some theory, okay. The first one is horizontal. Uh, horizontal is because this machine is bi-direction printing. It's printing when it's moved left. It's also printing when it's moving back. If it's one-way printing, so you do not need really to worry about that uh, uh, alignment of the horizontal, because uh, even it's off, everything is off, so you can already see the difference. Let's just imagine this whole room is a printing space. The roof is the bottom of the printing head. This, uh, the floor is the medium. So when the head is moving, is moving in a constant speed and the ink is dropped from the roof and free fall to the floor. So the time will take to, for the droplet to draw to the floor is uh, different if the distance from the floor to the roof is changed. Hope you get me. So if one way, let's assume, hope you can see, okay, let's assume this column on the top is the droplet being dropped, and then the ink actually falling into this chair's place. Then when it's coming from this direction, let's assume on the, uh, on the joint, this is, the, this is the droplet left from the printing head, it's well falling into the same position of this chair. So if the thickness changed, of course we have to adjust the alignment, make sure they still drop in the same place because the dropping speed by the gravity is constant. The moving speed of the printing head is constant. When the distance change, we have to change when to drop the droplet. Okay, that's for the thickness, when the thickness of medium changed. And for the step alignment, which is the vertical one, uh, normally do not need to change when the medium been changed, but just in case we'll only do that. That is also decide what's the distance being printed. If you print one meter, but you, when you get out the result is uh, less than or more than one meter, it's also a problem of the step alignment. Also, if you see your printing have the white edge between the prints, it's also because of the alignment. And if you have the overlap, it's also because of the uh, alignment. Okay, that's it. Thank you.